Wahiwa family is asking the Army to take action after a tree branch fell through their roof. This happened on Wednesday morning at a home that is along the fence separating the residents from the east range of Scofield Barracks. The branch punctured the ceiling of a bathroom that is used by two young boys who were thankfully in another part of the house at the time. So what do we do? Like we can't stay in our house because we don't know if these branches are going to keep falling. And it's already punctured through our bathroom. Like, and that's my boy's bathroom right next to their bedroom. Other neighbors say that branches have hit their homes in the past. In a statement, U.S. Army Garrison Hawaii says it's investigating the incident and they are looking at existing options to address the concerns about the tree and others along the East Range fence. If you're planning to visit Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in the next few weeks, just prepare for more traffic. The park will have only one lane at the entrance station starting on April 8th. That's expected to last for at least two weeks as the park gets set for upcoming construction work. Competitive surfing in Oahu Public Schools, it's one step closer to reality. The Senate Ways and Means Committee advanced House Bill 500, which would provide funding for surfing as an interscholastic interscholastic sport means a big step forward for the schools for ILH and OIA um, it means more kids will get involved and they'll give the kids a pathway to again representing their school in, in a sport that they really love just pretty simple support the future of the sport of surfing that supports us all and that is surfing support the sport that was started here in Hawaii the measure now heads to a conference committee. On Kauai, warning signs went up at Hanalei Bay after a six to eight foot shark was spotted. Ocean safety officials are advising the public to stay out of the water until further notice. Lifeguards plan to reassess the area today. You can check with them before you get in the water. More of these morning and overnight showers favoring windward sides. It's a little damp for Oahu and Maui County this morning. Not so much for the tips. So Friday is going to be pretty nice, but it is going to be windy in the afternoon. Those winds running 15 to 30 with some higher gusts. We're still expecting lots of afternoon sunshine after those morning showers dry up. And we still got lots of surf uh, rolling into the east side where that wind swell remains elevated. 8 to 12 high surf advisory remains posted pretty small everywhere else with minor pulses expect, expected on the south shore over the weekend. So again, it's going to be a windy weekend, but windiest conditions today, they'll slowly ease up but still remain firm through Monday and the next chance for more significant rainfall coming between Wednesday night and Thursday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.